welcome back. Today I thought I would do a what I eat in a day for you guys. It's been a little while since I have done my last one and I am actually getting ready now to make myself lunch. But of course I gotta give you the rundown on what my breakfast was. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's kind of just a little impromptu one, nothing fancy. We'll call it a realistic day of eating and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you could give it a thumbs up, I appreciate it. It helps my channel out a lot. Let's just get into it. Okay, let's rewind though, because for breakfast today, I actually had something that I have been going to a lot lately. And I think actually I shared it with you guys a couple weeks ago over on my Instagram. I think just a quick little snapshot of it. Well, it hasn't changed. You know me. Once I find something I like, I have it for weeks on end. That's just what I do. <laughs> but I have, I've been going to this a lot. So on last week's vegan empties that I did for you guys, and you can see it back there too, actually, I had shared that I finished up one of the Orgain chocolate sport protein powders. And we got the restock back there. We do. I've just been on a kick. It's really, really good. So here's the combination. And this is what I have this morning but I'm gonna tell you my typical one because it's it's like the solid go-to for me but today I did technically half it because I wanted to try out the go macro bar the new one and I did so it was good but here's what it is one frozen banana one serving of the chocolate protein powder one good size scoop of ice and two shots of espresso it is delicious. And then lastly, one cup of almond milk. That is it. And you blend, blend, blend. And it is like the perfect consistency. Now you'll notice I only did literally half of all that and my banana was not frozen. I'm completely out. <laughs> It was still delicious, but wasn't quite as thick as it would be with a frozen one. So I do recommend it. And I did, like I said, just half because I got the other half from the Go Macro Bar essentially. But that has been really my go-to, my friends. It is so, so good if you are a coffee lover slash chocolate lover too. I think you will really, really love that combination. And I have to say too, I think, cause I did do the macros on it but before weeks ago, and I think it's a really solid like shake, like really good. It kind of checks off all the boxes, which I really like too. And then yes, I have the Go Macro Bar, their new salted caramel and chocolate Go Macro Bar. Oh, I'm such a fan of like all of their flavors. They're so, so good. And this one did not disappoint at all, but actually, Actually, Nate and I, I bought two of them on my last Whole Foods haul that I shared with you guys. And Nate and I shared one the other night and tried it out because again, it's their newest flavor. And we both loved it. But here's the thing. We both said, I, I can see the salted caramel flavor a little bit coming through, but we both got more of a coffee flavor and like a very roasty coffee. And one of you said you had tried it out and love it. It's like your new favorite flavor. And I asked you, I was like, but did you get a coffee kind of kick flavor from it too? And you agreed. So it is made for me. It is, I love it too. It's awesome. But I will say, I think it could be maybe a little disappointing if that's not what you're expecting. You know what I mean? but it's worth the shot. But tell me if you get coffee from it. It's wonderful though. That's definitely going to be a new favorite of mine as well. And the lemon one. I love the lemon one too. So that was the start off of my day. That was it. And now it is time for lunch. Let's just do this. Now this is going to be an easy, basically leftover meal. Again, I shared this the other day on my Instagram. I made this for dinner and I made a huge batch of it of my Sofrida's recipe. I will link the recipe below. And I, I didn't like obviously share how I did it for this video because it is leftovers, but I have shared it a lot of times too. I have, and I'll even put up here for you guys one of my latest times sharing it. If you kind of want to see it in action coming together, it may not be quite the looker, but I tell you what, it is my like all time favorite homemade recipe. It is. And you guys know, <laughs> if you already follow, okay, I'm in our Sofrias, you know? It's true. I don't get sick of it. I love it. I think it is a wonderful, wonderful meal prep too because it's so universal. I'm gonna make like a burrito bowl type thing right now. And I have brown rice prep too. And that's it's perfect for that. But you can use it as like a taco filling. You can do burritos. You can do whatever you want to do. And it's just 
delicious. I have to say too, I made this brown rice the other night and it came out good. Brown rice is one of those that like you can do it the same every time and somehow it still comes out different every time. This came out like perfectly fluffy and good and I did nothing. There's no salt, there's no oil in it. It was water, <laughs> but it worked. Okay, I'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna do a little extra rice. And we're just gonna heat this up. It's gonna be good, 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 okay good amount too. I will tell you, and I think it's written, I think, on my recipe too, if you like spice, because it's even called spicy sofritas for my recipe, which I love, but you guys know my husband, he 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 likes a little. <laughs> it's the joke here. Is it spicy? But the really what makes this recipe like super spicy is the chipotle and adobo sauce in the can that you'll use just use less of that, but you have to use it because it's like a, a flavor it needs, but just use less of it, play with that. So this batch is not super spicy, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna heat this up. It's as simple as that for lunch, my friends. And then I'm gonna top it with some of this vegan sour cream from Trader Joe's. We love this, we both really do. I know when it first launched about a month ago, a lot of people were like, it fell short, it tastes like nothing. And I was like, dang it, you know? Cause I personally don't love a lot of the vegan sour creams out there. But I did not get that at all from this. It's a little thicker than true sour cream, I will say that, but the flavor for me and Nate, we think it's killer, we think it's solid. So we'll put a little scoop of that on top. You could do salsa and hot sauce and stuff like that too, but I just think it's good like this. I'm gonna use the rest of Nate's avocado from this morning. A little bit of lime juice for freshness and a handful of cilantro. That is it, let's do it. little longer. By the way, lime update, my friends. If you caught my last uh, haul from Whole Foods, I showed you this like trick going around of leaving your limes or technically your lemons uh, in a jar of water in your refrigerator. And those, they're supposed to last up to three months. So I'm doing it with my limes right now. And uh, one of you let me know, it totally works with the lemons. It's no joke. And I'm like, that's awesome. But, and limes it does too. Flavor wise, it was good, but they will fade apparently. I'm like, interesting. And she's gonna try them with oranges, you said. I'm curious. But it's a good little trick. It is. Now I was thinking for dinner tonight, kind of simple, but that's just how we, roll. Nate's getting off a little bit later than expected tonight. Can you guys see that? At least mostly. You get it. And just to keep it really simple, because you guys know we eat early and we're like in bed by like, you know, 7.38 because we're old. I'm kidding, but not. <laughs> and um, I was thinking about making like some wraps tonight, which is more maybe like a lunch thing, but whatever. There's no rules. And uh, those oat wraps that I got, those oat flour wraps, and they're literally made with oat flour, water, salt, I think. I think that's all it is. But again, I got them at Whole Foods, but we haven't tried them yet. And I was thinking about trying those to give you a little update on if they're keepers or not. Plus, you know me, you know that gives me an excuse to like have some chips. Yeah, gotta have, chips with your wrap. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's just, it, it's thick. But I feel like even real sour cream, from what I remember, was hit and miss with that anyway. Like some brands were thick and some weren't. And I always think of Chipotle and Chipotle is like really runny. You know, it's not the best way to describe it, but you know. And I remember I liked it but it was a certain consistency that people either did or did not like. So this is just definitely on the more thick side. All right, now we can put some fresh lime, put it on the rice, boom, lunch, simple. Literally like a two minute meal. When you do that meal prep, my friends, get your big thing of rice, have that ready to go. And when you're making it, just 
positive vibes over it that it's going to be a really good batch like this one and uh, make some tofu like this with some kind of sauce it just it's so good that's basically all this really is hits the spot every time I love it I'm gonna go sit on the couch and eat this yeah that's that's right that's what I'm gonna do and uh, catch you back here for a snack or dinner we'll see we'll see train all right, today's midday snack brought to you by the one and only <laughs> Sum dark chocolate tahini with sea salt. My goodness, this is the best and I have backup. Yes, I do. I'm gonna do some strawberries with it and a honey crisp apple. Delish, so simple. Actually, sometimes what I'll do is put a sprinkle of granola on it too, like very little for that crunch. But really, this is the star of the show right here. All right, let's make this quick dinner. That's the theme of this video, quick, easy meals, especially if you prep some things in advance for sure. So I'm gonna have this, not, not gonna eat all of this, but <laughs> we actually just uh, picked this up at Costco earlier this week. It's a huge, huge bag of edamame in individual packs. I love this. It's in the frozen section at Costco. Uh, you get 12 steamable bags and they're a good size too, each of them actually. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. Edamame, if you are looking for a delicious plant protein from True Whole Foods, there it is. I love it. I'm going to try this out. This is new to me and this is new to me. This is what I mentioned earlier, but I'm really excited to try this. Now, I have tried this before, just not this flavor, and I love it. And it is a base of like wheat gluten. So I personally love that. The only thing is, of course, is if you are someone who eats gluten free, this would definitely not be for you. But it's something I really like the texture of. It's very uh, dense, hearty filling. It's good. And this whole thing here is three servings. We'll probably just split this amongst both Nate and I. And uh, 17 grams of protein per serving, which is really good too. And then, yeah, these are the wraps. Got them at Whole Foods. And again, it's made from oat flour. Oh, and wheat flour. Okay. And uh, water and sea salt. They are very, very thin. I'm thinking about just having one. I'm sure Nate will want two. I'm thinking because that, you know, saves a little space on the plate for the said chips. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But technically the serving size is two wraps. Once I open this up and really see how thin they are, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, I showed this to you guys again on Monday's haul. Thought we'd put some pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds in it. Kind of just play with it. And then this I was thinking would be a good little dressing in the wrap too. This Greek goodness uh, flax oil dressing from Foods Alive. Love this brand. They have amazing products. Um, everything is super, super fresh. And they'll ship it to you too. And even stuff that's like refrigerated, uh, you, you know, it comes cold which is cool so they sent that over to me a few weeks ago which i really appreciate and then of course stuff it with greens but i mean i think that's kind of it right and then to finish that plate off like i said gotta have my chips or my puffs i gotta do it there it is i may sneak a few while cooking there we go and really there's not much cooking to this these heat up in the microwave this you can actually I think do in the microwave too in fact um yeah it's just yeah, it's pretty simple, actually, 60 seconds. Um, or you can toss it on the stovetop, skillet, a couple tablespoons, tablespoons of oil. You probably don't even have to do that. I'll just heat it up on the stovetop, though, but I won't even add extra oil to it or anything. And we will put these together. And I think Nate will be home soon. And depending on timing, he can wrap these up because he's much better at it than I am. But these ones look like they're, they're not too bad. I think we can handle it. We'll see. I gotta tell you, this looks really good and like flavorful. I hope my lighting's okay, my friends. The weather's been like the sun in and out all day long today. But that looks really good. It smells good too. Yeah, you're basically just heating it through. That smells really, really good. Okay. I'm gonna like show you guys these. I know some of you had questions of like, let us know. So I am letting you know, they're definitely very, very thin. They are, I don't, well, you can't really see my hand through it, but they're pretty thin. Okay, maybe I'll have two. We'll see, we'll see how much I can put in there, but they do look like they'll keep 
from tearing, but again, we will see. I hope they're good. Can we steal a little bit and just try it? it? Tastes like a tortilla. It's good. Mmm, that smells really good. I'm gonna wait though and see if Nate wants this or um, mustard. This is totally up my alley, but it might be a little too vinegar ready for him. Not for me, that smells wonderful. When you think you're recording and you're not. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking if I put this on the lettuce to kind of like stop it from being on the tortilla, since it's so thin again, it'll help like not tear it. We'll see. These will be Nate's and like I said, we'll see uh, what he wants for like a sauce or dressing, but I'm definitely gonna go with that myself. I think one will do it for me. I do, cause again, more puffs. He's on his way home and from work and then he's stopped at um, Trader Joe's. He's like on a kick with the cold brew coffee concentrate there. I mean, I'll admit it's delicious, but he's like, that's my favorite. I'm like, okay, you go get it. So he did. And then the kiddo, he wants his impossible nuggets. Creature of habit. He really is. I do want to try it by itself because, like I said, I haven't tried this, like, flavor. Mm-hmm. It's going to go good with that dressing. That's good. I love it. Okay. Sunflower seeds. You know, it kind of, it's not spicy. I would not describe it as spicy, but there's a little kick to it. Good. Put some of this. It's kind of like a mustardy vinaigrette. He might like this. I'm just not sure. I am going to love it. Yum. And then, no day is complete without it. I usually go on my burger. <laughs> See how this goes. Which nails don't go through it too. That's usually what happens. Oh yeah, we're good. Starting to tear a little. That's not bad though. I'm on a cutting board. Just don't tell anyone. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hold on, a little more. Yep, they dry out. You can see how they're kind of cur curving up a little bit. They do dry fast because they're, they're just so thin. But that's perfect. That's going to be good. I didn't eat any already. I didn't. Believe me, yeah? Smell. You don't like it? No, is that chocolate? Chocolate? I smell like like brownies. My nose all wrong. Your nose is all wrong. <laughs> you smell brownies. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I, I smell like a, a melty chocolate thing going on. I don't know what the hell's in my nose. Close, but wrong. Okay. <laughs> I got cold brew. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. Uh oh, these still need a little more nukins. Why would you do such a thing? Crap! Hi, friends! Hi! How was your day? Good! How'd it go? Good! Good. Needs a little more time. Good. 
Come taste this dressing and tell me if you want it in your wrap or if you want something different. He's peeing. Yeah, this though. This is what he's like. I've pulled it many times now, but he's like really into this recently. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it in here and we can share. Five bottles of water up in me. Try that. I think you'll like it, but it might be here. Come on down. But it might be a little bit um, vinegar ready for you. Nate had to wear a jersey to work today for a thing, and he had this under. That's not really how he goes to work. But. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it? I didn't know he would. <laughs> Just do mustard? Must mustard? Mustard? Yeah. Don't be silly. Mustard would be just fine. All right, and we share these. Okay. Do you want a little bit of garlic powder on them? Or of just course. this? No, okay. of course I do. Okay. <laughs> One of my favorite ways to have edamame. Coconut aminos. You're really down here. I know, but I wanted to show the wraps. Do you like this? Yeah. I like it. Did you try it already? You ever stole a piece? No. No. You don't know. I think it's good. Dark super gum. I can't gum. see your face. <laughs> That's super gum. You like it? Okay. Yeah, no, it's awesome. What do you want on it then for sauce? I can just do mustard. Or do you want, okay. Ooh, can I do just a little bit of the Polynesian? Yeah, we have the Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. And that one, my friends, is vegan. With mustard. It's delicious combined. It really is. These wraps are good, but they're so thin that they dry out really fast. So I will remember that for next time, not to put it out too early, because see how they're kind of, but yeah, you can buy this. Actually, you can buy this on DoorDash on like if you make a chick fil a order <laughs> sorry i don't know <laughs> you can <sighs> too or old you, to be bending over like <laughs> or you can also get it at um yeah target well other places too but i know target has it yeah which is good they're just a little bit of that actually yeah it's sweet it's mm -hmm. very sweet it's almost like it gives it almost like a honey mustard but more than what I would consider like a honey mustard sauce, like more dynamicness. It's not just the sweetness added because it's got that Polynesian sauce. We're down here. <laughs> I had to take a knee, man. I had to take a knee. You want to wrap them? Because I don't want to be responsible when it goes. Can I stand up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 It's not brownies. But. I don't know what I smell, but I'm famous. That's good. It's good. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. I don't like it. All right. Mm. I like the wraps, but just wait till like you're ready to make it fast and eat. Like, don't put it out as early as I did. Um, but they're good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are good. All right, my yeah. friends. That is going to do it. Because I already ate my dessert today. I mean, I could potentially. Did you make brownies? More. No, but I had some soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this What I Eat in a Day. hope it gave you some meal ideas. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>